Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts. Today we're gonna uncreate the qualifier DLX MIPS. Before we jump in and give you the full rundown on this upgraded, souped up qualifier from Bell, go ahead and subscribe. That helps keep bringing you the best gear reviews in the universe. And if at any point you decide like to purchase a Bell helmet from speedaddicts.com, we would appreciate that. There's a link in the description below to shop for this helmet or any other parts of gear you might need for your next two wheel adventure. So Bell, one of the OG helmet manufacturers in the world, they know what they're doing. The Qualifier DLX MIPS is essentially an upgraded version of their number one selling helmet ever, the Qualifier. They sell more qualifiers than pretty much any helmet uh, they've ever made. So what they've done is they've added a pro tent self tenting or transitions lens to this, as well as that MIPS safety liner. We're gonna tell you what all that means here in a minute. But first up the price tag, so 269 to 289, so you're in that sub $300 price range, officially making this kind of a mid-range helmet when it comes to price. Uh, but just so you know, these transition lenses can run anywhere from $150 to $200 on their own, depending on which manufacturer you're talking about. So uh, that is a huge value add. It is lightweight polycarbonate shell weighing three pounds, nine ounces, making it not exceptionally lightweight, but not heavy. Anything that is close to that three and a half pound mark is very suitable for everyday riding. Intermediate oval fit, it is DOT and EC2205. And uh, it does run true to size. Bell's pretty good about fitment. They have sizes extra small through three extra large. Go buy that Bell sizing chart at speedaddicts.com. And remember, if you buy your next helmet at Speed Addicts, you'll definitely get let off with a warning that next time you're pulled over, but you also get no cost returns. So if the helmet doesn't fit, you just decide it's not for you, a couple clicks, you get a free return label from speedaddicts.com. You just have to be in the United States and the helmet has to be brand new in original condition. If you haven't shopped with Speedax, give it a shot. We'll treat you like family. Okay, enough with my shameless plugs. Let's look at the Qualifier DLX MIPS. We're gonna start with that ventilation system. So we have plenty of ventilation on this Qualifier. Uh, the primary entry points is the chin bar vent. Here we go. A nice neat switch, easy to work with gloves on. They put a big uh, tab on this. I like this as opposed to those little nipples. This little switch is not too bad to work. And then. You have, so you have the crown, the chin bar, and then you got the ram airs up on the top. They are all two position, all the way on or all the way off. Around the back, let's check out the exhaust. Four exhaust ports down low and up high. So this helmet ventilates great. You're gonna get that vacuum exhaust that sucks the hot air out, brings the cool air in, and keeps you nice and focused on the road, even in those hotter temps. Okay, the time has come. The best part of this helmet is this pro tent lens and it says pro tent right there or does it say transition it says pro tent they renamed it at some point so their pro tent technology when you bring this into the sunlight it is photochromic and it is going to tent in the sunlight and give you a nice smoked look it's going to cut down on that glare on the sun and so you're really getting two shields in one at night it will be perfectly clear as it is here in the studio and then out in the sun it is going to uh, tent up so this is uv protected anti-scratch and on the interior, it is anti-fog coating. I would I mentioned that because it will help you in foggy conditions, but be gentle when you're cleaning the interior of uh, any fog coated lens. You can uh, mess that up if you rub on it too much. I recommend removing this. The bell removal system is real easy. It's just a little trigger switch here. This will come on and off. And wash this in your sink, kind of just with your hands. Get any spots off, let it air dry. You'll be in good shape <clears throat> and you'll maintain that the fog coating on the inside. So uh, that is the exterior of this helmet. Let's jump in and show you what we're working with on the inside. First thing I notice when I try this helmet on is that the chamois uh, interior here, this is antimicrobial wicking, but it does feel high end. It's, uh, it's got a nice micro suede-ish feel to the interior. This gray section here is really comfortable. We have a chin curtain that is included uh, inside of there, you can see the ports where you're gonna get that ventilation coming through from the chin bar vent and the nose guard up on the inside that you can remove, but most people are gonna wanna run that, that breath deflector on the inside. Okay, so you got your chin curtain. You have a double D-ring closure. No surprises here. We're gonna open this up. The whole interior is removable, washable, replaceable, should you wear it down over time. So let's click this out of place. And there are speaker pockets that we are going to show you. So if you want to run a comm system, you're good to go there. There's that 3D uh, foam cheek pad, easy enough to get out of the way. Just a couple snaps here. We're gonna remove this. 
little bit of Velcro on the edge. And there it is, okay. So down low, we have our speaker pockets that I've just exposed. You have a nice flush surface here. Any comp system you choose will fit on this helmet without any trouble. And then I'm gonna remove this headliner here so we can see another key feature of the DLX MIPS. It is that MIPS liner. So if you're not familiar with MIPS, I don't hold it against you. It's uh, better known in the off-road market at this point. So they're transitioning some of the street helmets over to this MIPS technology. And what it is, is an extra slippery liner that is behind your comfort liner. All right, now that I got the comfort liner out of the way, it will expose this MIPS liner. So the MIPS stands for multi-directional impact protection system. That is a mouthful, but this is a low friction plate that is gonna allow the, your head to slide inside of the helmet as you make contact with another surface. That's gonna reduce those rotational uh, G-forces entering your gray matter, which is not something you want to do. So another value add. So they've taken that qualifier, they've added the MIPS system and this transition lens and really taken the qualifier to the next level. Behind the MIPS is an EPS liner that's multi-density and made to work in a variety of impact scenarios both high speed and lower speed. Bell's gonna back up their helmets with a full five year warranty, which is about three years longer than the industry standard. So when it comes to that transition shield or the MIPS liner, extra features like that, I like to see a nice stout warranty. Bell definitely provides that. And in the past, we've sold a ton of Bell helmets. Anyone ever has a problem, they really stand behind their products, which is a great thing. So you're investment is protected. That does it for the qualifier DLX MIPS. You still got questions, don't worry. Rider Support is standing by through live chat, email, and phone. And as always, if you already have one of these, tell us how you like it in the comment section below or ask your questions there. One of our Rider Support staff will get back to you right away. Appreciate y'all for watching. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.